Sometimes your dreams feel so big that they feel so out of reach and oftentimes can feel that you're undeserving of them. Sometimes your dreams feel so big that they feel so out of reach and oftentimes can feel that you're undeserving of them. Even if this is a subconscious belief that you might be undeserving of them, sometimes it's a conscious belief. Sometimes you're aware of this, sometimes you're not aware of this, but either way, If on some level you feel undeserving of your big dreams, you will find a way to sabotage them. You will find a way to keep them at arm's length. And this will keep your big dreams feeling so far out of reach. I remember writing an article over five years ago called when your dreams scare the shit out of you. Uh, yeah, it was published at least five years ago. And this is a really important thing to recognize because when your dreams truly are big, like you know you're meant for big things, you know you're here for great love, you know you're here to manifest, you know, your dream life, you're not here to settle, you want it all, you want, the purpose-driven career, you want the healthy body, you want the financial abundance and freedom, you want the soulmate relationship, you want it all. And when you tap into that, it can often feel intimidating or out of reach. And we tend to put it on a pedestal and have it always feel too good to be true, too big for us to actually allow it into our experience. And what I wanted to share with you today is that as you open up to recognizing your innate worthiness and that you just get to have what it is that you desire simply because you desire it and you allow things to flow into your experience and you recognize the resistance that you have to certain things in your own sabotaging patterns, what you can do is start to break the cycle at that point. You can start to choose different thoughts. You can start to choose your, your reaction to things versus just reacting. You can choose not to do the same familiar sabotaging pattern this requires a level of self-reflection and it requires a level of straight honesty with yourself. It requires you to be able to call bullshit on yourself. And it requires a level of vulnerability. Whether it's your dream business, your soulmate relationship, or however you wanna relate this, there's a level of risk, a level of vulnerability that is required for anything great in life, in my opinion. And so when your dreams truly do scare the shit out of you, because they are often triggering so many patterns of belief in you that you're not innately worthy of them to begin with. And you might not even be, again, consciously aware of that this is what's happening. But when they do trigger you in that way and scare you in that way, it's important to recognize in that moment when the fear sets in or when this when when you start to feel scared or vulnerable 
that you recognize this is a choice point for you. This is a choice point. Your life shifts based on the decisions you make moment to moment. And in that moment, there is a choice point for you that can pivot you to a different realization, to a different outcome, to a different set of experiences. It's funny, when I looked at the counter, I got 111 the first time and then I just got 555, which represents changes, new beginnings and big changes. Big changes can be scary as shit. New beginnings can be scary as shit because it involves letting go a piece of us from our past in order to allow the new to unfold. We have to be willing to let go as we grow and as we go into our next phase of our journey. And so recognize your big dreams are gonna scare the shit out of you. If your dreams don't scare you, they're probably not big enough because they're not really expanding you outside of anything that you already don't already have in your bubble. If your dreams scare the shit out of you, you're on the way to something amazing. And when you feel that vulnerability set in or that fear, or that being scared, that's the moment that you tune in and you self-reflect and recognize that in that moment, what's coming up and recognize that that is a choice point for you to shift your experience. And you have these moments all the time and you have them more as you call them in and welcome the guidance and the two-way communication with spirit that's always there guiding you so i just wanted to pop in there uh pop in here with this today if you liked this video please let me know a question or comment below and i will tune in with you very soon on an upcoming episode namaste